me give you the victim's name first because it's got a, a different spelling. It's Dariel, D A R I E L, Ariola, A R R E O L A. He's a 28 year old male that uh, lives in Manteca but has close ties to the city of Hayward. Last night, uh, in the evening hours, the San Leandro Senior Community Center was rented out for a private event for a family hosting a First Communion. And during that time, at about 7.35 p.m., San Leandro police were notified of multiple gunshots that were fired in the area of the community center. As the officers responded, they came upon an injury collision that occurred in the intersection on East 14th and 138th Avenue, right in front of the Senior Center. As the officers tended to the victims in that car crash, they discovered that the driver and any passengers that were in a gray minivan uh, had fled the scene. Uh, officers have not identified those people yet, and we're hoping that they will come forward to give us statements as to what happened and what they saw prior to this collision occurring. While the officers were still on scene uh, at the collision tended to people there, they were directed back to the entrance of the community center uh, for a gunshot victim, and when they showed up, found Mr. Ariola uh, lying on the ground, suffering from a gunshot wound. Paramedics responded, he was pronounced dead on the scene. There were 80 to 100 people in attendance at this first communion yesterday. The detectives were called in last night to start to interview those people, try to piece this entire thing together, and really identify who the suspects are that are responsible for this homicide uh, at the first communion. We do have surveillance video from the Senior Community Center, which is owned by the city. San Leandro. We're reviewing that surveillance video as well as checking with other businesses here in San Leandro and other private camera systems should people come forward with some information that may lead us to who those suspects are. We are also looking into uh, the possibility of the people in that gray van as being involved in the shooting. Right now we don't have that answer because you can only imagine the extreme chaos when there's 80 to 100 people around, gunshots ring out, somebody is struck, people flee in panic. So we don't know whether or not that van is directly related to this or that van sped off just trying to get to a point of safety. Somewhere in the middle, they were involved in that collision just a few hundred feet away from the front doors uh, where this homicide did occur. And once again, once they crashed, the people inside fled the scene. Uh, the people in the other vehicle, not involved in this at all. They were driving down East 14th Street. They suffered minor injuries and were treated and released at the scene. Uh, as you can imagine, this is uh, situation with that many people there uh, from young children all the way into uh, very older adults. This could have been very, very tragic, much more tragic than it ended up last night. And all I can say right now is on behalf of the police department, our condolences go out to the family and friends of Mr. Ariola. This is a tragic incident in this town that should not have happened. So let's back up a little bit. So this guy was targeted, right? So but we don't know if that, the, the car accident happened after the shooting. So he was targeted way before this car accident, right? So we don't know why he was targeted because he was inside this first communion, right? We, we still do not have a motive in the case right now. Uh, we have to look into Mr. Ariel's background, those that he may have been there with. That's why it's very important to talk to everybody that was at that party last night. Those that saw it, those that know Mr. Ariola, People like that can provide the background for us, hoping to lead us into the direction that will hopefully identify the suspect and responsible for this so that we can bring that person to justice as soon as possible. The shooting itself actually happened outside. Mr. Ariola was attending the first communion, but everything occurred uh, outside of the main entrance to the community center. Uh, once again, the motive for it, we don't know, and the identity of the suspect or suspects we don't have right now. We're still trying to follow up on those types of things, asking people to come forward and help us out in this investigation. Once again, to get justice for Mr. Ariola and his family. And we don't know if that car that crashed and sped off was a part of the, the shooter, like the suspects. Because one car stayed, the other one's gone, right? Correct. Both, car, right. both cars were disabled. Uh, in the collision, there was a white sport utility vehicle that was hit that was traveling on, traveling on East 14th Street, had major damage on its front end, disabled, could not leave the scene. Those were the people that were treated and released for minor injuries at the scene. The minivan spun out of control and actually struck a signal pole on the east curb line, knocking that to the ground. The people that were inside that van fled immediately. 
prior to law enforcement showing up. We're still looking for those people right now and trying to track down who owns that van and who may have had it last night, hoping to catch up with them to find out what involvement they have, if any, or if they were just merely witnesses to the shooting that occurred. So we didn't run the plates yet to find out who it Yes. And cars get, get Cars get bought and sold all the time. People don't transfer DMV paperwork. Uh, sometimes we get cars that are transferred two and three, two, three, and four times, and the paperwork is never done at DMV. So we have to do a backtracking to find out who one person sold it to the other person who sold it to the third person, hoping to catch up with who one is the actual owner right now. And, and so this was rented out last night. So the people that, because normally it's a senior center, so like right now they're just old folks hanging out inside like playing bingo or something. Correct. Right. Correct. Ahead. This is a, a dual purpose community center in San Diego. When it was first built by the city, it was built uh, for the senior population, the aging population here in town. So there are meeting rooms, there are dancing rooms, there are exercise rooms, and there are computer rooms. They have programs all day long for senior citizens. It also doubles as the police department and city's emergency operations center in the event that we have any sort of catastrophic incident here in San Leandro, we use that facility there is set up for it. But primarily in the daytime hours, it's set up for seniors, but the city does run it out from time to time to special interest groups uh, or community functions, or in this case, the private party to celebrate the first community. I mean, it's pretty sad when you think about, you know, it's a Sunday night, it's the first communion, and there's a guy that's dead. Do we, did we, like, cross out gang relations or anything like that? We didn't cross that out. No, we're still still exploring the possibility that this could be gang related. The more we learn about Mr. Areola and uh, his past, who he is, the more we'll really learn as to why somebody would want to have to have done that to him last night. Uh, those details are still early in the stages of this investigation, less than 24 hours. You can imagine with 80 to 100 people at the party, how long those interviews are going to take. That's why we really ask, rather than having the police try to track down everybody at the party, if you were there, please call the police department. If you have any information whatsoever, please call us here at the police department because you may be holding that vital piece of information that may solve the case for us. Was there a... Um camera at the intersection? It, it, you said 14th Street, so it's really close to here. Yes, this yeah. right out front is East 14th Street. Yeah, so it's like, what, a mile? Less than a mile? Uh, it's about a mile and a half. Okay. Do they have um, cameras at the intersection? No, no cameras there. What time of night was it? 7.30, 7.35. Still early. It was, it was daylight. All right, let me get a two shot. All right. And then... Oh, yeah.